An emotional ceremony honoring the life of Lori Paestua, the first Native American woman to die in combat. Today marks the 10th year anniversary of the attack that killed her. ABC 15's Angie Holdsworth reports as her family and fellow service members gathered to honor her and so many other soldiers lost before and since. With deep tradition and deep honor, a sunrise gathering at the base of the mountain that now bears her name. Yeah, 10 years been, to me hasn't been all that long. It's been a full decade now since Lori Paestoa was killed, and her family has been struggling with the loss. Every day we, we, we get that uh, and sensation about you know, her being gone, especially with the kids, because they, they, they know they're missing something. Standing by Paestoa's family, Jessica Lynch, one of several soldiers who were riding with her in the Humvee when they were ambushed. I wish everyone would have had the chance to meet her. She was such an amazing soldier, a person, a mother. The ceremony honoring the life of the young mother of two also pays tribute to the countless other soldiers who have lost their lives in combat. To have all these people that come, especially the Gold Star family, we really enjoy them coming because it's their mountain too. It's not, it has our name on it, but it's their mountain because their loved ones are, are here too. The mountain where the family name will now live on, a place for unity, for all military branches, for all peoples, who understand the sacrifice of wearing the uniform and the honor of serving. Angie Holdsworth, ABC 15 News.